Have you ever heard of Ohuhu? If you have, great. If you haven't, then I'll give you a quick overview. It's an alcohol marker. That's it. But at the start of Ohuhu's marker journey, a lot of people have praised it for being an excellent cheap alternative to Copics, despite it having a fine tip instead of a brush nib. So now let's see if Ohuhu can compete with the almighty Copic marker now that it has a brush nib. I have the complete Ohuhu Honolulu series, the series of uh, Ohuhu markers with the brush nib, and approximately 146 Copics. And there's a reason, trust me, on that. So I had to be careful about what I chose to draw to showcase as many colors as I can with the colors I have. So I drew Queen Beelzebub from Hell of a Boss, one of Vivzy Pop's shows, lined it twice on my Strathmore marker paper, which is what I'll be using. Outlined using Molotov, Molotov black liners. Let's get started. So I'm going to start with the hoo hoo and the pros are they're cheap. They're about 70 cents per marker if you get them off Amazon and that's approximately where it stands, which is a very cheap for alcohol markers in general. It has great blendability, which is what drew most people to Ohu markers in the first place. It has vibrant ink, like the pink and this peach is such a gorgeous color I can't even describe it. It's beautiful. And it's also refillable, which is great, especially if you don't want to just keep buying the same marker and throwing it out. All their colors offer refillable options. It has plenty of nib options, which is kind of funny because it has brush tips, fine tips, and chisel nibs. Those are the, all the types of nibs that Ohu offers, which I don't think you see every day with other marker brands. It has a reversible nib, which is also something you don't see every day with other alcohol markers which is great because if the nib on your brush marker or chisel marker or whatever it is is dull then you can just pop it out reverse it and then stick it back in and you got practically a new nib i ha myself haven't tried it yet but i will let you guys know if that ever comes to pass it has 320 colors it which is a very respectable amount of colors to have. That's great, especially because they're all very, very vibrant colors. Onto the cons. You cannot buy individual markers. So if you run out of like one color, then you can't just buy that single marker color. You have to buy a set of it. So if you have run out of a random skin tone, you have to buy another, the like an entire skin tone set. It is slightly streakier than Copic, which is what you'll see in a minute, <laughs> which does make it a little harder to sometimes blend or get that seamless transition. It has no light fastness, but all alcohol markers don't really have light fastness, or at least I haven't come across any that do. So it's a con, but <laughs> again, all alcohol markers have this fatal flaw. It ha does have a harder brush nib than Copic markers and that comes with a detriment because brush markers they're nice because they're blendy and like bendy and flexible which helps with blending so if it's a harder nib it doesn't really make much of a difference than if you used a fine point really in my opinion of course now on to the Copic sketch markers so the pros for the Copic Sketch are they're very blendable, like very blendable, which is great because that's what they're made to do. They're very layerable, which as you notice as I'm coloring, it's less Copic markers aren't as vibrant as the Ohuhu markers, which makes them great for layering because you can put la color on top of color on top of color on top of color. And it's, it's kind of like layering a watercolor, if that makes any sense. It is refillable, and in a note, I said Ohuhu was also refillable, but Copic Sketch has been a refillable marker brand for way, way longer than Ohuhu has ever existed, So, which is why it was created as the number one marker choice. It has a bendy brush nib, like very bendy. It's super soft, super flexible, which helps especially when you're blending, and also helps get in those fine details. It has 358 colors which is more than Ohuhu, actually, and it's great. Both of them have really, 
a lot of colors, but this one has more colors and this is and that's great, especially if you want to get like that seamless transition. And the ink lasts for a while. And when I say that, I mean by I can use that same marker before it runs out of ink a lot. And the only time I have ever run out of ink was when I had used the beige color and I created a lot of characters and I used the beige color a lot and I bought a refill and I refilled it once and haven't refilled it again. <laughs> Alright, onto the cons. It can be very pricey. Like, the price range can range from between $3.99 to $7.99 for both Sketch and Chow, which is the two types of copebook markers you can usually deal with. That's really expensive. <laughs> it has no life fastness, but again, no alcohol marker does that I've seen. Copic Chow has 180 colors available, which are the same colors as the sketch, so don't even bother with the, getting the Copic Chow, although they might be on the lower end when getting the marker itself. The Copic Chow just has a smaller barrel and holds less ink. That's really the only difference between it and the sketch. It is less vibrant than the other brands. Like, compared to my Ohuhu drawing, it doesn't quite has that eye-catching pop that it usually does. So are Ohuhu markers the alternative to Copic markers? Yes and no. Ohuhu is indeed a cheaper alternative for Copic, but Copic's specific formula and colors allow Copic markers to blend seamlessly, allowing those who enjoy doing more realistic pieces or those who really like blending to do that seamlessly. As seen here with these two drawings, we can compare that Ohuhu here is slightly streakier than it is on the Copic side. And it is also true in a different drawing I had done prior to this, where I had used my Copic markers in the dr this drawing and then my Ohuhu markers in the other drawing. You can tell that there's a slight difference even though they're both using the same paper. So if you're looking for a good alcohol marker brand that's cheap just to create art for whatever reason, then Ohu is definitely your number one pick. However, if you are going to create professional pieces or pieces for commissions, then definitely spend the money on Copics. They're well worth it. 